Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Um, actually, if you're in the US here, happy Memorial Day. Um, as you guys are aware, I typically save my home fragrance reviews for the weekends and just kind of focus on either beauty or skincare content during the week. But since today is a holiday, I thought I'd make an exception. Um, I wanted to get out my thoughts on both this particular Homeworks pedestal as well as this specific fragrance today. Just in case you wanted to pick it up um, for summertime, I know that the Homeworks website is currently doing a promotion where they have, I think it's, um, you get the third candle for $15 and there's $10 shipping right now. So uh, there's a decent deal happening on the Homeworks website. So if you actually don't want the pedestal, the only way you can get this particular candle is through the Homeworks website. So anyway, I thought I'd just go ahead and get out my review today. I have burned this candle to the halfway point. It's obviously not lit like I normally have them, um, but I wanted to be able to show you the wicks post burn and the wax and how everything is looking. Um, sometimes I think it's easier to do that when the candles aren't lit. So um, that's the route we're going today, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, I have the pedestal pulled up on the website here. It looks like right now, um, I don't think, yeah, QVC is not doing free shipping for the holiday. They did that a couple weeks ago, I think. Um, so the, the cost for the pedestal with the candles, so they are combined, um, is $53.98 and they are doing the $5.50 shipping and handling on this. Um, it is an 18 ounce candle and obviously the scent here is the hibiscus flower and the pedestal itself is, um, it is in that classic like silver finish that Homeworks tends to do. Normally, as you guys are aware, I will refinish these pedestals either in um, some kind of spray paint color that um, suits my liking, um, or sometimes I leave them be. <laughs> I'm pretty particular about the way that I decorate my house. Um, I will admit the vast majority of Homeworks pedestals that I get, um, I end up refinishing them either in white or a um, like champagne gold, or I've even done a beautiful uh, oil rubbed bronze. Um, there, I do have a few of the pedestals that I kept in their original condition, but for the most part, I tend to really like to customize these. And I anticipated wanting to spray paint this one white. As soon as I ordered it, I was like, it's pretty, but I don't know that I love the silver. It wasn't until I got it home and really looked at it that I thought, you know what? This is perfect the way it is. I don't think that I see myself spray painting this one. Um, I was a little hesitant to pick this up because I don't really have a lot of, uh, I would say, tropical decor in my house for the summertime. And a lot of the pedestals that have come out this uh, summer season have been very either tropical or very um, kind of nautical inspired, you know, like a lot of seashells and rope accents and things like that. It's just not my style in my house. I, t I tend to have... I tend to decorate like a little bit of a grandma, um, but this one here is just so pretty. I've had it on my kitchen counter and I wanted to be able to show you guys in a video because I don't think that the presentation on QVC really did this justice. Um, the depth and the different like textures are so beautiful in this. Um, someone had asked if these are lined on the bottom and I just wanna show you. They do have a really nice felt lining. So I've never had an issue with these scratching up any of my surfaces, but you can see all the different textures of like the different tropical ferns and leaves and the plumeria and the hibiscus. I mean, these are just, it's beautiful. Um, honestly, I think this is one of the prettiest summer pedestals that he has ever done, at least in my book. Um, I tend to not be a huge summer decorator, but this one, 
I think I'm really going to enjoy having out during the summer months. So um, if you're looking for this pedestal um, and you don't want the hibiscus flower, maybe you can gift this to someone, <laughs> but you do have to purchase them together. I don't know, you guys, I think this is really beautiful. And quite frankly, I like the candle itself. So we'll get to that here in a second. But I just wanted to show you on a not TV camera what this actually looks like. It's really, really beautiful. And the top has this nice um, little grid on it, which keeps the candles nicely centered in here. There's no way for the candle to go flying off because you've got these little lips from the flowers and the ferns coming up. So I think this is just done really, really beautifully and I like it a lot. So let's talk about the hibiscus flower. Um, this is in the classic Homeworks packaging. So it's, um, what are these, 18 ounces, I believe. Uh, let's, yep, it's an 18 ounce. And the burn time on these um, are approximately <laughs> 30 to 55 hours, that's quite a range. You guys, typically with my Homeworks four wick candles, I will get right in the middle of that somewhere. So 40, 45 hours is typically the norm for me. Um, this one is burning incredibly well. I just wanna show you guys the wax. It's a really pretty color. Um, it's kind of a really light peach. You can see those wicks are still nice and tall. There's no big mushroom tops that form on these particular wicks. Um, I will trim them, just that little top part, I'll trim that off and then um, they're basically good to go. Be careful to never trim your wicks too short. Um, you definitely could run into that puny wick syndrome if you do that. Um, also, I don't burn my Homeworks candles for more than about three, three and a half hours at a time. When I go too much beyond that, I do start to deal with the wicks wanting to droop a little bit more. Um, sometimes, you know, a wick can fall over, especially as you're getting to the bottom of the candle. Once the wax pulls out completely, um, I just make sure to watch it very closely and um, I don't really have a ton of trouble with these Homeworks candles. Um, ever since I stopped burning all of my candles for more than like a few hours at a time, I've had much less issues with, with really all of them, even my Bath & Body Works candles. So um, obviously always be mindful of the uh, condition of your candles. And if you notice that you have a funky one that burns kind of funny, um, maybe put it in a crock if it fits in one or on a hot plate warmer. Unfortunately, these Homeworks candles do not fit under a hot plate warmer very well. Um, I have one that I can use when I'm trying to like loosen up the last little bit of wax on the bottom, but I have yet to find a warmer that fits the entire base. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. I know a lot of people like to use the lamp styles with the Homeworks candles, so where the light bulb shines on top and it'll melt just the top layer of wax. And then I imagine that you just pour that wax off once it stops smelling and then you just melt the wax underneath it. So um, I think I'm gonna pick up one of those lamp style uh, warmers here in the next probably month or so. And I wanna be able to test it out. A lot of you have mentioned that it's super handy to have. So I think I'm gonna finally break down and get one. You know how I feel about my candle Crocs, <laughs> but I've never actually tried the lamps. So I need to do that. But in terms of this scent, you guys, let me read you the scent notes and then I'm gonna tell you about the, the performance, strength and throw and that kind of stuff and what I get. Um, so I was really excited about this scent because it sounded very fruity and very tropical. Um, it is. <laughs> so this is a blend of red hibiscus, mango slices, nectarine blossom, and tiara flower. Um, this is a beautiful mix of a tropical floral with those gorgeous fruity notes. It is 50-50 fruit and tropical floral. You really can smell that tiare flower. It's very similar to the tiare flower candle, but the hibiscus blended in with it adds almost like a little bit of a tanginess. It's a very interesting blend, but I like it. I do really enjoy tropical florals, and this one is definitely no exception. 
you do get mango in here and you do get nectarine. Um, but I don't really smell nectarine blossom. I get like actual nectarine, like juicy, ripe, almost overly ripe nectarine with a perfectly ripe mango. This is delicious, you guys. If you like that blend of tropical floral with fruity, this one is a no-brainer. If you don't want the pedestal and you just want to try the candle, you're going to have to order it from the Homeworks website. Um, like I said, I wanted to get this video up today, so if you were interested in, you know, kind of that flat rate shipping or that discount on the third candle and beyond, um, you know, I want you guys to be able to take advantage of that um, because the shipping with the Homeworks website does fluctuate and it's it's a dramatic fluctuation the more candles that you order. So um, definitely keep that in mind. But this one here is beautiful. Um, I do want more of it this summer. I'm not picking up any more candles right now. Um, I do still have, actually, I think I have one in my mailbox <laughs> that was delivered yesterday that I need to go pick up. <laughs> um, I did pick up a few more of the Homeworks candles uh, a couple weeks ago when they had the free shipping, but I think at this point, I'm gonna slow my roll just a little bit. Um, but this one is 100% worth getting. It's beautiful, I'm really enjoying it, and I think a lot of you would like it too. And if you've never purchased a summer pedestal for yourself, for me, this one would be the one that I would recommend picking up this year. It's really tall, so I wanted to show you that it's almost as tall as just a Homeworks candle on its own. So a good amount of height here, some good heft and oomph. They're not super heavy. They're made out of a resin material, I believe. Um, so they're not super heavy, but they are very substantial. Um, I am a huge fan of these pedestals to go with the candles. I just think they're very, very pretty. And I don't know, I like the aesthetic a lot. <laughs> All right, you guys, did you pick up hibiscus flower? What are your thoughts? Um, what are your thoughts on this pedestal? Um, did you get any of the Homeworks pedestals this season? What do you think about them? And um, yeah, so again, happy Memorial Day to everybody here in the US today. For those of you who have served our country, thank you so much for your service. And um, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. I hope you have a relaxing rest of your day. I will put a link for this uh, down below in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.